My name is Tracy Valens. I am located in the Kansas City metropolitan area, and I am a franchisee with the Scooters Coffee System. I currently have two different LLCs that I participate in that both operate Scooters Coffee locations. One has 42 units open and the other has eight units open. Both companies are continuing to grow. What makes you successful? What makes me successful as a multi-unit franchisor is multifold. Uh, first and foremost, my franchisor is, is really strong uh, and the support that they provide for myself and other franchisees in the scooter system is top notch. And I feel like without that support, without that partnership, because it doesn't feel like a franchise or franchisee relationship. It feels like a partnership in business relationship. And because of that, I, if I have struggles or uh, if Scooter's corporate is having struggles, either way, we can work together and partner on solutions to continue to advance the brand together. And I think that that's really, really important to my success as a franchisee. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to that, I've been doing this for a number of years. So I've had the opportunity to build up a really, really strong team around myself in my organizations who can really help to carry the, the heavy load of running so many units. And so um, just having the right people in the right places uh, with the right skill sets has been really, really critical for us in our growth. And then I think finally, uh, one thing that any franchisee and probably any system needs is just grit and determination. And, you know, there, there's no, it's not easy to run a business. It, nobody says it's going to be, uh, but with grit and determination, you can press through any of those challenges that come up over time and rise above and figure out ways to overcome them and move on and continue to grow your business. Great. So I think in growing your portfolio, you know, infrastructure in your company is super, super important. And I think one of the things that I learned over time is that I have to be willing to prepare and plan and advance my company ahead of growth so that we can handle the growth that lies ahead of us. Uh, you know, if if I at times I've looked at other brands and adding other brands and not that I would never do that, but to me, having that strong franchisor relationship, that franchisor that's strong, not only financially strong as a franchisor, but also strong in their support system and, and structures for franchisees is critical. So I think, you know, planning ahead, forecasting, uh, you know, knowing what you need ahead of time and not always playing catch up is super critical to growth and successful growth. You know, I think if you're not planning ahead and you don't have the right systems and structures in place, both internally within your own company, but also with your franchisor, that support is so critical to being able to continue to advance without running into walls that kind of hold you back. So for me, performing my due diligence and buying into the brand looks a little different than maybe it would look if I was doing it today. And, and the reason I say that is it, my husband and I have been with the Scooters Coffee brand for 17 years. And so we, we really started with Scooters in the early, early days. And to be honest with you, I would say I didn't really know what I was doing or what I was asking. And so but the one thing that really mattered to us at the time was that our core values, my husband and I and our family's core values aligned with the franchisor at Scooters. And so we knew immediately that at least in that area, that whether we always agreed on how business should be run or always agreed on different strategies in business, that part didn't matter because at the end of the day, our core values aligned and we knew we could um, end up in a really healthy place together in that relationship. And so for us, that was a really huge thing. 
it, if I was looking today to get in there, there obviously is other things you're doing in your due diligence, like talking to existing franchisees and what their experience is or, or looking at financials and making sure that, that the model is financially um, solid and strong and, and also that the brand is, is solid in upturns and downturns in economy. And so there's a lot of other things to look at, obviously, in doing due diligence. Um, but that core value thing was really, really important to us. So a franchisor approaching me about their brand and what would make that an exciting or an appealing um, potential business adventure for me would be unit profitability and seeing that that there's a good ROI on the investment for getting into each single unit, uh, you know, that that I would purchase uh, the support system and showing that there's a solid support system from the franchisor in, and and not only just the support, but also that relationship factor between the franchisor and franchisees is is so critical and um, the the other thing would be the strength of the brand um, so not only in in continued growth as a brand and adding units but how strong is the brand during different seasons whether it's an economic downturn and and how does the brand hold up during that or as we've all seen over the last year during something like a pandemic, you know, what are the things that the franchisor is doing during seasons like that to help ensure that their franchisees continue to be successful and continue to rise above those challenges that come in those different seasons. And sometimes they're expected and sometimes they're unexpected, but where is the, the strength of the brand and where is the franchisor coming in to help support those franchisees to get through those seasons together as a group.